What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Today I'm going to share with you three returns that I recently got back in the mail. And today we're going to start off with, with a envelope postmark from Sacramento, California. And as you know, this is a themed video. All of these players are Oakland A's players. And this is former left-handed pitcher Craig Minetto on one, two, three, and four. Two 1980 tops and two 1981 tops cards. So let me tell you a little bit about Craig Minetto and his unique journey to the major leagues. Minetto, a Stockton, California native, originally was drafted by the Los Angeles Dodgers in 1972, but chose not to sign with them after being drafted in 72 and 73, and instead opted to go to college at San Joaquin Delta College for two years. After his time in college, he was then signed as an amateur free agent by the Montreal Expos in 1974, and he only pitched one season in their minor league system before he was released. Here's where things get a little interesting. Unable to find a job in American baseball, Manero signed with the Fortuto Baseball Bologna. This was a professional baseball team located in Bologna, Italy. He pitched there for a season and later returned to the United States after that one year where he was signed to a minor league contract with the Oakland A's. Minetto would immediately, in 1977, work his way up through the A's system primarily as a starter, starting 25 of 30 games. Well, in 1978, he would start the year in AAA and after posting a 10-4 record in 19 starts, he would get a call up to the major leagues, making his major league debut on July 4th, 1978. He would spend time up and down the rest of the year with the A's that year, appearing in just four games at the major league level. Well, in 1979, uh, he split time between the bullpen and as a starter, but appeared in 38 games for the Oakland A's in the 79 season. Well, after a pretty subpar season with the A's in 79, they decided to send him back down to AAA, where he would spend the majority of his season after struggling early in the 1980 season. After the 80 season concluded, he would again start the next year in AAA, however, he would have a resurgence in 1981 at the major league level, appearing in eight games for the A's, posting a 2.70 ERA in his brief stint in 1981 up with the big club. Well, despite this, the A's did not tender him a contract for 1982, and instead Minetto decided to sign with the Baltimore Orioles. Well, unfortunately, the Orioles didn't give him a shot at the major leagues for the two seasons he was in their AAA affiliate in 1982 and 83, despite posting very good numbers appearing in 55 games and 52 games respectively those two years. Well, after the time with the Orioles, he decided to sign with the Houston Astros. And again, he would not get a call up to the major leagues. And at 30 years old, he hung up the cleats, so to speak, as a pitcher after not being called back to the majors since his 1981 season. So in total, Minetto pitched four years in total with the Oakland A's, and those were his four years in the major leagues. But it is such a unique story that he actually went and pitched in Italy before he played in the major leagues. That's just something that's, you know, very, very, you know, uh, uncommon for a lot of people to be discovered in the Italian league to get their shot at the major leagues. So very happy to add him to the question. We'll move on to the next one. All right, so this next one is postmarked from Arizona, and it is former teammate of Craig Minetto, Bob Lacey, on one, on that 80 tops, two, 1981 tops. You're seeing a pattern here. Uh, here's the 78 tops, and finally, here is him as a Texas Ranger on an 82 tops. So let me tell you a little bit about Bob Lacey and his career in baseball. Lacey, a Virginia native, was signed in the 10th round of the 1972 draft by the Oakland A's. 
His first year with the A's system, he was an amazing 13-2 and in his first minor league season with their affiliate. However, the following years he would struggle a little bit, and he didn't actually find himself in the majors until the 1977 season. The following year in 1978, uh, Lacey kind of burst on the scene with the A's, and he would actually be one of the most reliable pitchers for the Oakland A's pitching staff in 1978, where he actually led the American League in appearances that year. According to his Wikipedia page, no other pitcher, no other pitcher in league history inherited more base runners than Bob Lacey did in 1978 with 104. Despite having 104 inherited runners, he won eight games, had a 3.01 ERA, and saved five games. Unfortunately, in 1979, his season was cut short due to a heel injury in, his, in one of his feet. He fell out of favor with Billy Martin that season as well. In 1980, Lacey may have been the least used closer of the modern era. Lacey appeared in a team-high 47 games, finishing 31, but he only earned six saves. This was due to Oakland's record-setting starting pitching. And what will likely never be duplicated in today's game, the A's pitched an astonishing 94 complete games in 1980, leaving little left for relievers like Lacey. Eventually, Lacey was traded to the San Diego Padres in late, late March of 1981, before the 81 season started. He was with the Padres for only three days, who in turn switched him and traded him to the Cleveland Indians. Lacey split time between the Indians and Rangers in 1981 and pitched even in the Mexican League in 1982. He was a late season call up for the California Angels in 1983 and pitched in relief for the San Francisco Giants in 84. After the 84 season, he bounced around the minors for the 1985 season before pulling the plug on his seven year playing career. He made a comeback of sorts in the late 80s when he decided to be the manager of the Greenville Bluesmen, he wasn't just happy being the manager and actually pitched four games in 1988 and 89 for the independent team. In total, Lacey appeared in 284 career games as a pitcher, posting a 3.67 ERA with a 20 win and 29 loss record, appearing in games for the Oakland A's, the San Francisco Giants, the Texas Rangers, the California Angels, and the Cleveland Indians. So very happy to add Mr. Lacey to the collection, as, again, somebody had never gotten before. All right, so this next one is postmarked from Seattle, Washington, and it is former Oakland A pitcher Bill Kruger on one, a second 87 tops, a 1990 tops as a brewer, and a 91 Bowman as a Seattle Mariner. And I don't know what it is about that card, but it seems like I have tons of this card for some reason. It, every time it seemed like I opened a pack of 87 tops, there was a Bill Kruger in it. I don't know if they quadrupled the printing on that card or something or, <laughs> or what, but it just seems like that Bill Kruger card is really out there, that 87 tops. So, let me tell you about Bill Kruger and his playing career in baseball. Bill Kruger, the younger brother of Fred, grew up on Elm Street in California. Just kidding. I just had to throw the Freddy Krueger reference in there. But uh, no, I'm serious. No relation to Freddy Krueger for all those uh, kiddos that might be scared of Mr. Kruger. Uh, just to happen to have the same namesake. Standing at six foot five after grade, graduating from McMinnville High School in 1975 in Oregon, Cougar began classes at the University of Portland on a basketball scholarship, not a baseball scholarship. He was a four-year starter on the University of Portland basketball team. On the baseball diamond, he was a three-year starter for the Pilots and was the team's most valuable player in 1977 to 78. In 1979-80, the Pilots set a school record for wins in a season that year. He also played first base as well for the Pilots that year. 
Six players were drafted off of that team, including Ken Daly, the number three player selected in the 1980 MLB draft. In 1980, Kruger was signed by the Oakland A's on July 12th as an undrafted amateur free agent and assigned to the Medford A's of the short season single A Northwest League, despite only pitching four innings in college. So he was a first baseman and only pitched four innings in college, and the A's made him a pitcher. Although he went winless for Medford in seven starts that year, he struck out 48 batters, recorded a complete game, and a save. He continued to make his way through the A's minor league system for the next two years, being called up to double-A West Haven in 81. In 1982, Bill had a breakout season in West Haven, going 15-9 and with a 2.83 earned run average with 167 strikeouts and 181 innings pitched. His team would eventually go on to win the Eastern League Championship season that year. The following year, Kruger made his Major League debut on April 10, 1983 as the A's starter for the sixth game of the season. Facing the Angels, Kruger would pitch seven innings and give up four runs in the Oakland Coliseum. This is important because we'll come back to that in a second. Overall, Bill went 7-6 and six and 16 starts to the A's in 1983 before an elbow injury ended his season. He would spend parts of four more seasons with the Oakland A's before being tr traded midway through the 1987 season. Bill saw action in only three games in two seasons for the Dodgers and spent the majority of the 87 and 88 season with the Albuquerque Dukes, the Dodgers AAA affiliate. Bill actually pitched a no-hitter for the Dukes in 1987. Bill was traded again to the Pittsburgh Pirates in late 1988. The Pirates released him during spring training of 1989. And then Bill signed with the Milwaukee Brewers just 10 days later. He played in Milwaukee for only two seasons, performing well as both as a starter and a reliever. After the 1990 season, Bill would sign with the Seattle Mariners as a free agent. With the Mariners, Kruger enjoyed what was arguably one of the best statistical years of professional career in the Mariners' rotation, when he hit 11 wins, had 91 strikeouts, and an earned average of just 3.60. In 1991, he was also named the American League Pitcher of the Month in July. Over the last four seasons of his career, Bill Kruger played for five different teams in the National and American Leagues. Bill won 10 games for the Minnesota Twins during the 92 season. Kruger was then traded to Montreal, and then the Detroit Tigers. He then went to the San Diego Padres, but when it all came down to it, he came right back to Seattle again, so a second stint with Seattle in 1995, and Bill Kruger won the last game of his major league career on August 6th in the same place where he started his career, the Oakland Coliseum. The 37-year-old pitched over five innings and allowed only one run in that, that start in Oakland. He was kept off Seattle's 95 postseason roster, and he went free agent signing with the Chicago Cubs the following year. However, did not make the Cubs' major league roster and decided to call it a career at 37 years old. After his retirement as a player, in 1996, Kruger went into broadcasting. He became a senior baseball analyst for Root Sports Northwest covering the Seattle Mariners. He also became a director of individual philanthropy for Northwest Center, which I'm not sure what that is. He also was a financial advisor for Cold Street. Him and his wife, uh, Joe, actually was a president of the Cure Autism Now Northwest chapter. Uh, they did have a daughter with autism, so they were very involved with fundraising for autism awareness. And as far as I know, Bill is still living up in the northwest part of the country and still involved with uh, philanthropy and making people aware of autism and, you know, the uh, challenges of raising a child with autism. So I want to thank Mr. Bill Kruger for signing my cards. I also want to thank... Mr. Lacey, and also I want to thank Mr. Craig Minetto, which is one of my favorite stories I've probably ever shared on this channel about a player that had to go to Italy to be discovered. So I hope you learned a little bit more about some uh, 
Oakland A pitchers that are from the past. I look forward to you sharing your comments below, and as always, happy collecting.